Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an, a channel aimed at adults and not children. Um, we focus mostly on hobbies, um, such as mainly colouring, but also sometimes reading and photography. Hobbies that are used to relax you and help with your anxiety and things like that. It is in no way, shape or form intended for children. So today, um, I'm going to do my colouring, adult colouring book and supplies haul for December. This is everything I got in December. Some was for Christmas, some stuff I bought myself. I thought I'd show it to you now. I'm not going to be getting anything else this month. We're right at the end of the month, so chance of me picking up something else is pretty slim. So, you've seen, first of all, we'll start with supplies. You've seen these pens before. These are the Link Shine Gel Pens. They must be like £2.31 on Amazon so they were really cheap and they just work really really nice um, I'm using them a lot they're not gonna last me long but I will order them again when these ones run out so I'm really liking those I got three more Winker Stella pens I got the glitter white the green and the red they were sort of um, marketed as a Christmas one. I've hardly used them. I have used the white a bit. I have only just started using the red and the green just a tiny little bit just to add some accents to a picture I'm doing in one of the Colour in Heaven magazines. So the next one I got, I got the 24 set of Faber-Castell the gold fiber pens. Now this pencils, so this came because my partner bought me the Colour in Heaven subscription for Christmas and these were the free gift. So I haven't had my first magazine yet. That will be coming in January. I can't wait. So look out for a flip through when I get it. Hopefully I will get it early and can um, get a flip through up quite quickly. Um, so I've already used these. Uh, again, I've used them in one of the Colour in Heaven books and I really like them. I want the 48 set now. I have had a quick look at the 48 set. They do cost £30, £31 I think on Amazon. I don't know if I can get open stock over here. I need to have a look into that. Maybe I will just buy one every now and again. I haven't swatched them but I have used them and I do really like them. Now Paul's mum bought me for Christmas a colour your own travel mug. So I haven't taken it out of the box yet but I have had a quick look. So let's have a look at it. So it is a travel drinking mug. It's really, it's actually really heavy ceramic, and it's all got this sort of pattern on it. There's some flowers and and things on it, and it does come with six markers, which I assume are for ceramics. It does say not to dishwash it and to use mild water. Clean and dry shake pan. Wipe clean with soft hand. Cut one finish leaf to dry one hour. Place it in a cold oven, set temperature 180 and bake for 20 minutes. Okay, cool. Hand washing of your mug. Okay. So that's that. It has got a little coolie thing to sit in a koozie. So to hold your mug while it's got hot liquid in and a rubber top. It's kind of cute. Whether or not I'll do it, well I will do it, but I don't know when. It's uh, not high on my list of things I need to colour in. Can't even get it back in the box now. Okay, on to the books. I know that's why you were here. So we've got a stack of books. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, fourteen books. Some of these, well two of them were Christmas presents. <laughs> the rest of them I just bought. So the first one I've got is um, a magazine that comes out in the UK called Relax With Art Holiday Special. I tend to only buy the Holiday Special. I had the Halloween one as well. Didn't carry on that one either. Uh, a Vintage Christmas. Just the front. On the back it shows you a few of the pictures. But these ones are very, as you can see, the, the line art is very, very light. So it is quite detailed. Um, Although it's close to the end of the month, I haven't finished colouring for the month, so I'm not doing my um, completed pages yet. That will be out on something like the first, probably the second, I'm not sure. So there's that one. 
What I have coloured in is uh, Creative Haven's Entangled Christmas by Angela Porter. I really like this. It's a really nice book. It was delayed and then I said it was going to be a long time before I got it and then it turned up really quickly. Now I have coloured in this one so you'll be seeing that page when we do our completed pages. Another one I've done a page in is Christmas Mandalas by uh, Camelia Angelkova. I've bought four of her books this month. You'll be seeing the next, the, the rest of them in a minute. Um, and I really like them. They're really simple, but they're also detailed. So they can be a simple looking picture, but there's more to it than you think. And the one I've done, it isn't the cover one, but it's something very similar. So... Again, there's, they've got mandalas and they've got pictures in it in the middle, some of them. That's quite a nice New Year one. And Snowmen. So I really like this book. Um, see me colouring it again next Christmas. The next one I got, I'm hoping to do one more colouring chat this year, which will be for New Year's Eve. And uh, that is 50 Wintertime Mandalas, again by Camellia Angel Cova. I haven't chosen which one yet. Again, they're winter time, so they're not just Christmas. They have a Christmas theme on some of them. That's quite a cute one. That's quite a nice one. The puppies are cute, puppy and a kitten. Hello, winter. So we'll pick one of those and we'll do that as a colour and chat on um, New Year's Eve. So I'll put that to, in a different space. At the moment I'm still working on my whips. I also got um, Celtic inspired mandalas again by uh, Camellia Angel Cova. Sometimes in the evening it's just nice to just sit and colour a mandala. Look at that one on the back, it's lovely. And get some markers out and some felt pens and just have a quick go. So something I'll do in the new year I hope. I'm trying to colour in every book I've got. I know they're doing this colour hoard thing. I've just been trying to do that anyway. Again, the next one I bought was 100 Beautiful Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cover. As you can see, it's a bit of a Camellia Angel Cover month. I will probably pick up some more of hers at some point, but I think I've got enough mandala books to go on with. And these ones, oh, look at that. Again, I know some people don't like these A4. That's what the size they are for us. Um, because it's not centred. It doesn't bother me if you want to centre it, cut it out of the book and, and chop it down. I don't really care, I just think, oh these are fantastic. I can see me going in here with my fine liners, my, can't even speak, fine liners, glitter gel pens, Creo with super tips. There are tons of them, it's fantastic, it's very Egyptian. Very Egyptian fans. So yeah, I really like these, these are fantastic. So then there's that one. What I plan on doing with the Christmas books I haven't coloured in, and they are quite a lot still, is that I will pull those if we do Christmas in July this year. If we do Christmas in July, I will pull the Christmas books. I'll put them on the top uh, of my cupboard where my colouring books are, and we'll just pull the ones I haven't coloured in, try and do them, those ones. Um, yes, as you can see, Hannah Lynn, Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures. Partly because John, the Bibliophile Colourist, is featuring Hannah Lynn as his Artist of the Year. I thought I'd pick this one up. There's a cute one, little Dutch girl. The Mermaid, Unicorn. And I thought I would <coughs> pick this up and I can use various Hannah Lynn books throughout the year. Try and do one Hannah Lynn a month. That one, and there's still so many of her books I haven't got, but do want. I picked up a three book set called The Art of Colouring. Um, so there are three separate books in this one, so I'll show you them all quickly. So the first one is Art of Colouring Nouveau, so this is all Art Nouveau patterns. Again, this is the sort of oh gosh, look at that, you can hardly see it. Uh, thing you would do in the evening with a felt pen or a fine liner or a sharpie or a marker. Uh, they are single sided. Creole super tips would work alright on this. Um, they're just mostly repeating patterns 
so sometimes it's just nice to sit and colour something that repeats um, so there's that one and these were only like 3 or something ridiculous like that then there's the Art of Colouring Birds in the back it shows what you like the best marker, pencil, pens or crayons I mean look at that stunning and again just something to sit and, and colour with your markers or your pencils while watching a movie look at that owl it's fantastic and the last one in the set is the Art of Colouring Botanical So this is all floral things. Um, what I do like about this is this page, paper is really thick. You could use watercolours on here, they would think. Alcohol markers. I would obviously put a blot of page in to make sure it didn't seep through onto the next page. They are perforated as well, so if you wanted to take them out, you could. That's a nice one. I like that one. You could take those out. So they're nice. I got both uh, December issues of Colour in Heaven. The one came out at the beginning of the month, one came out at, on Christmas Eve. Because um, I'm not due my first subscription issue until mid-January. I can't wait. I don't know what it is. I haven't got a clue, but I'm looking forward to it. So that is the Alice special, which has got pictures by Jasmine Beckett Griffiths, Good Wives and Warriors, Fabiana Atanasio and Charles Santori. Now, I will admit that Alice in Wonderland, not my favourite story. Although I have seen the CBeebies Panto version twice this year. Funny that. I wonder why that is. Um, I do like the Fabiana Atanasio pictures. And it just means I don't have to get the book. Um, some of these, the Charles and Toy pictures are fantastic. But Grayscale, and again, I'm not big on Grayscale. So. But the Jasmine Beckett Griffiths ones are quite cute. I haven't got any of her books, but there's so many colouring, uh, colourist, colour, colouring book artists that I want to get and I just can't afford to get them all. I've only got one of the Bennett Kleins, I want to get some more of those. I have only got two more of the Kubi Rosannas to get, which is Geo and Phantom uh, And Doodle Mania, I haven't got that one, if I wanted it. I want to get the Clara Makova books this year if I can, so... So yes, I have got those, that one, and then I got the one that came out on Christmas Eve, I got that today in town before we had to go somewhere else, which I will talk about in my colouring chat, and that was the Colour in Heaven Dark Fantasy Special, exclusive, 40 exclusive Melancholy's Lives from um, Ennis Guerrero and apparently her art is quite expensive to buy and a lot of people are really chuffed that Karen haven't got her to do a book because it can be quite expensive and looking at it, her images are stunning I think it's a her they are absolutely stunning Princess Ariel Moon Babe that's lovely. That is absolutely stunning. Again, more on the grayscale side, but it's not so heavily grayscale that I wouldn't want to do it. I will be colouring in this in January. I might just do that one. That's really pretty. I might not. I've got to look for it properly yet. I haven't, I haven't actually looked through these properly. That's quite nice. The Autumn Nymph. So, there's all, see, you can tell I've only just got it because there's all the bumps from inside it. So there's that one. So that is the last non-subscription issue I will be buying unless I want to buy the real, the collector's editions. Um, so the next one you see will be a subscription issue. I'm so excited and so chuffed you got it for me. So you pay for it in two instalments, um, December and June. And you said, ah, oh, cancel it in June. I said, no, no, don't cancel it in June. Keep it going. I'll have the subscription for my birthday as well because my birthday's in June. Now, not only did he buy me that, he bought me lots of other stuff. He also bought me two colouring books from two of the artists I am collecting. The books of Slowly. He got me Maria Trolley's Botanicum. I'm only missing one now and I can't remember which one it is. I've got... Oh, it's the one that comes before this. No, it's Flora. It's the one that comes after this. It's Flora. I haven't got. That's fine. I will be getting that at some point. So it's nice when I get these. So he got me this one. This is actually the... I don't know what edition it is. It's in a different language. So it's not the English edition, but it ah, doesn't really matter. Does it matter? And the pages are lovely and thick and smooth. 
the pictures are beautiful. I love the first two books. I haven't coloured in, is it Nightfall? I don't know. I've coloured in the first one, I haven't coloured in the second one, and I've got this one. That is lovely. I love that one. Oh, there's an Easter picture. I'll be doing that one for Easter, I think. Oh, it's so nice. A peacock. So, yeah, so we got Botanicum. And he also got me Hannah Carlson's jewellery box. So, I'm now missing Daydreams and Soulmates, the only two ones I'm missing. And I made the mistake of putting them on my mum and dad's list and my brother's list, and they didn't give me any colouring books. So they just gave me, well, they didn't just give me, they gave me some books on Hollywood, which is fine, I'm happy with that. I've got a few books on Hollywood, always. Um, so Jewelry Box by Hannah Carlson. So I love my Hollywood books and they know it, so it's nice. I got a mixture of things this Christmas, so. Um, I'm not very good at doing jewels, I need to practise. I like doing the people. I like that one, stars. I've never used um, gel pens in these books, so I, but I might in this might in next time I do one like with the stars on the face. You do different coloured stars. That's quite nice. So yeah, they, it's a really lovely book. So um, that's all the books I got. There's quite a lot of books. It's like what did I say? It was ten. ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, more than ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen on it. Fourteen books and a mug to colour, as well as some nice pencils and some gel pens. So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed this haul. I do have to stop buying so many colouring books. It's not going to happen. I got money for Christmas, I was going to spend it today. It didn't happen. Again, I'll explain why when I, I do my next colour and chat. And then probably be one soon and then one on New Year's Eve. Um, but yeah, leave me a comment down below. If you want to see a flip through of any of the books that I've mentioned, just let me know which one it is you want to see. I will happily film a flip through of it, not a problem at all. Same with any of my other hauls if you want to see them. Um, don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I appreciate each and every one of you. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that once I make uh, and publish a new video, you'll be notified immediately as soon as it goes live. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.